Welcome back to Camp Out West. If you're new here, we're John and Emily. We recently sold our home and all our belongings to buy this, an old abandoned caravan park that used to be home to the coal miners that worked in the colliery across the road. The mine closed back in 1989 and the caravan park has been left to become completely overgrown. So now that we're the new owners, we've been working hard to clear up all the leftover rubbish. We hope you enjoy watching today's episode as we continue with our renovations and getting the land ready to build our own tiny home. Welcome back to Camp Out West. If you watched the last video, you'd have seen us finishing breaking down the last of those three caravans, which is a really big milestone for us. Yeah, it was such a long time coming and we can't believe they're finally gone. And we've removed so much rubbish and recycling from the site and we actually didn't realise just how much more recycling and rubbish we'd still have left once the caravans were gone. This is the area where the three caravans used to be. We didn't realise until we removed them just how much rubbish had been stored and was hiding underneath. One cool fact we discovered about the miners that used to live here was along with their salary, they used to get given an allowance of coal. This explains the big pile we found alongside everything else. So first things first, we need to filter through all the leftover rubbish and sort out what can be separated for recycling. We've been wondering what this is. It's like a blue barrel with random holes in it. So it's another toilet. <laughs> How weird. Is it plumbed in? I mean, obviously it's, it's connected into the into a concrete slab. Ah, so it's another foundation. Another concrete. It's all cracked there. How funny! So the, yeah, the decking only went to here. And then... So this, this, oh, this is... Oh, this is concrete as well. Oh, really? Yeah. How so funny. thought it was going to be more multi-decking. It's actually concrete. How funny. So I'm just going through and picking up like any bits of foam or wool that's just kind of lying over on the ground. And I thought it was just on the surface, like this. But come and look at this. It is buried. There's loads of it under here. And it's quite deep. Yes, All under it. here. Yeah. Hmm. Not ideal. Our next big job on the land is hiring an excavator to come and help us level out all the ground ready to build our tiny home. But before we can start that, we need to remove all the leftover rubbish. So John's going to start work knocking down the old shed while I rip up all the old caravan decking that's left. state of all this it looked like he just put all of his rubbish in this shed like old cigarette packets sweet packets tablets a couple of uh, tools a wheelchair washing machine that I'd imagine stinks old carpet from the caravan more carpet down there as our trailer was full with wood recycling we decided to crack on with another job in the afternoon so I started working on strimming the back of our field. So while John's been strimming just behind me there, I've been ripping up all the decking boards and I'm nearly done. I'll just show you what I've done. I'm just going to finish this bit here, but it's so satisfying.
Now we've taken up all the old decking boards, we're going to sort through the wood to find out what's worth keeping ready for future projects. We're so pleased with how much of the wood we can reuse again and just store. The decking where the shed used to be was completely rotten, so we loaded that up into the trailer ready to go to our local recycling centre. Before we can get the excavator on site, we need to clear the piles of firewood that we've been storing on the driveway. So the plan is we're going to make a wood storage using all the recycled salvage timber that we've got from the caravan and from the decking we've just ripped up. First we need to clear the area where we want to put our wood storage. We're just raking everything we've cut off the bush and we found more buried things. This is like a fitted sheet that is completely buried all the way back there, here. But we think there's some type of hard standing under here because we've got to like chippings. Chip and Diane's here helping. Say hi Diane. <laughs> We've just finished cutting back the, the hedge now. I think we've gained at the front here maybe like two to three feet. Same all the way down. Um, we've raked out all the little bits and all the debris. So all the tiny pieces now, we're going to use our leaf blower just to clear it all off before we can start with the log storage. Special thanks to our friends Lifely who kindly gifted us one of their battery powered leaf blowers. We've had this for a few months now. It's powerful, super lightweight, a long lasting rechargeable lithium ion battery. It's been a great tool to have on the land. So now we've cleared the area, it's time to gather the old decking boards that we want to use to make our wood storage. All the planks were covered in old screws and nails so we have to make sure we remove them all before we cut them to size with the saw.
We're just having a little break from building the wood storage because John's parents are on their way down to our land with their trailer. As we've been clearing out all the caravans, we have found bottles and bottles of old gas and a lot of them are empty and we've got no use for them. So we're really struggling to know what to do with them because we couldn't recycle them. Um, our, somewhere local was taking them, but for 25 pound a bottle. So for us to get rid of all the gas bottles that have been left over the years on the land, it's so expensive. And last night, John's parents tagged us on Facebook on something they saw and it's a local gas supplier. They are accepting old bottles that they recycle. So we're just gonna load up all of our bottles in John's parents' trailer so they can take them away with them and it's not gonna cost us a penny. This is where we found all the gas bottles. Buried in here. So there's five bottles and two minis, so that saved us mm, 150 ish. We're just strapping them in. I wasn't expecting them that many, that's good. Look how clean the wood is after we pressure washed it last night. It looks like new wood. Next we started working on the roof. First we removed all the nails and screws before we could start cutting and adding the roof boards. Right, we're getting there now with the log storage. Got all of our all of our boards up on the top. I'm just going to line them all up so they're square, and then screw them down. Put our first board on. So all of those just need to quickly screw them down, and then we're going to put roofing felt over the top, just because that's something we've got that was free. So that's what we're going to put on the top. While John's finishing up nailing on the roof tackings on the wood storage just there, I'm gonna rake the drive and just try and get the top layer of mud off because there is a hard standing under here. We've done the top a few weeks ago, the top of the drive, and now I'm just gonna keep doing the bottom. I've done the top now, so I've tacked it all down with these little galvanised nails and I'm just going along this front edge now, folding it down. I've left pretty much the right amount, so there's a little overlap. Just go in like one hand width. I think that's like about 100 mil. Mm -hmm. And then we're nearly done. Coming to the end of building the wood store and we've got a little bit of wood left so we figured we'd put a shelf in so because we're gonna have all sorts of wood in here some that's not not been chopped up or processed uh, some that's like ready to be like stored to dry and I figured it makes sense to have a small space up here for kindling so a lot of the smaller pieces of wood and it's closer underneath the, uh, the roof so hopefully they'll stay a bit drier so yeah it's gone well pretty pretty good isn't it Three, two, one, let's go. Thank you. We 
we've just hired our first skip for our project so it's taken us this long to actually get a skip um, everything else so far we've hand-picked put it in the van and then driven it to the recycling center um, that means that everything so far up until now has been recycled but um, we've got to the point now where now that we've taken the caravans down we've taken all the big pieces of material away we're left with like tiny pieces of glass bits of plastic which you could spend months going on your knees picking it up but we're literally going to go and rake the surface and then shovel it all into this skip um, just to get it off the site um, even though we've got like other materials here like this wood left over from our wood storage um, as tempting and as easy as it would be to just chuck it all in the general waste we're still going to collect this put it in the van and take this to recycling because that is something that's really important to us Now we've finally got our wood storage built, we can actually go around all of our piles of wood that we've been chopping down everywhere and actually start processing them into firewood to store it to be seasoned. Um, so I've got this piece of oak, which I knew I'd keep this piece and I'd, I've cut it nice and straight now so we can use it as our chopping block. And um, when we were over in the, the, the other part of the, the land where there's a, a shed, we actually found an axe. I don't think it's an actual splitting axe, it's, it's set on it like a felling axe, but an axe is better than no axe, so we're going to give it a little bit of a sharpen because it's really blunt and see if this helps us. Wood chopping fail video. Take one. <laughs> Have you done this before? No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That wasn't very uh, central. You're a natural, darling. Hiya. <laughs> First wood going in your wood storage, darling. How does it feel? Majestic. Majestic. <laughs> Keep hitting it off the middle. That's a good one. Darling, you're living a long life dream. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> chopping your own wood. Hem's first attempt at chopping wood. I'm going to wear goggles. <laughs> okay. Watch your feet, that's all I can say. Yeah, I've got steel toe caps on. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> well, we've got a nice bit of kindling. It just came off in a slither. Cute. Okay. I'm basically just shredding it. Anyone interested in M's uh, sculptures? <laughs> okay, third attempt. Hit us up in the DMs. Here she goes, the Punisher. <laughs> I'm literally just shredding it, inch by inch. Yay! <gasps> well, from that one piece of wood, we've got about six pieces of kindling. <laughs> My first attempt, and I cut it into six pieces instead of two. <gasps> Next one. It's good. Okay. Yay! That was really good. Okay, that was better. Then? I can actually use an axe. Punisher strikes again. <laughs> Hi ya! <laughs> Hi ya! <laughs> Yeah, it's bits like this, I don't know. I'm about to split. Super happy with how our wood storage has turned out. Being able to make it all from old caravan and decking timber has meant it's cost us next to nothing other than the price of a few nails and screws.
So that's the end of today's episode. We hope you enjoy watching. We can't wait for the next video as we've got some new tenants arriving on the land at Camp Out West. <laughs> so let us know in the comments who or what you think we've got arriving on the land. And don't forget, you can also follow us on Instagram at Camp Out West for more behind the scenes content. We'll see you next time. See you next time. I actually can't believe you built this wood storage. It looks good. And we're chopping our own wood from our own trees. Yeah. Makes me a bit emotional. <laughs> so good to hang. Happy? Yeah. And a little crutch. Isn't it nice? It's fun.